This video is sponsored by Be Quiet and their new Pure Loop all-in-one liquid coolers. Pure Loop is the water cooling unit of choice for all price conscious users that seek high performance and silent operation. Numerous features like the doubly decoupled pump and the Be Quiet Pure Wings 2 fans make sure the Pure Loop is silent and reliable while the white LED illumination and the all black design set high standards in appearance. Check out the links in the description and thanks to Be Quiet for sponsoring this video. What's going on, people? It's Timmy Joe, making videos, computers, things and stuff, and uh, I got a computer here that it brought to me from a client. And it's in a shopping bag with some fans. Ooh, there we go. Some fans, some hardware, and uh, apparently, I built this computer. Well, I didn't build this computer. I sold him uh, a computer <laughs> resembling this, but in a different case. And apparently he broke the case. I don't remember which one it was. Um, I remember the components. I think this is a 20, it's a 3770K or a 2600K, something like that. On a pretty nice motherboard. I think that's a 980 Ti. Uh, probably about that brand new power supply. I see an SSD, looks like a Kingston, and a games drive. Yeah, this is something I would have built. But uh, because he broke the case, he went and bought himself one of these cheap Corsair carbide ones. And now it doesn't turn on apparently. And uh, I've looked with him, and the power connections are all connected. Um, I mean, it, it, even like the buttons are hooked up correctly. Like, it looks like it's connected correctly, although he definitely didn't do any cable management. Let's see here. here, I'll put her there. There we go. And when I plug it in, sure as shooting, we press the power button, which is under here, I believe. Under here, yeah, there it is. And watch what we'll see. Right, well, watch what we'll see right here. Oh, we got a little, we got a little bump and then nothing, which means it's triggering some sort of overcurrent protection right away. Something, something's up with this. So, uh, yeah, no, no, no good. <laughs> so I guess we're gonna troubleshoot this PC and find out what he did wrong when he transferred my original components into this case. Um, I'm sure I, uh, I'm feeling a little like we're gonna re be replacing something. Here. like usually this doesn't happen unless something's really up so I guess we'll have to figure that out so I don't know we'll start off with the video card just lose the screws eh, whatever I got lots of screws little plate here yeah I'm pretty sure this is a 980 Ti ooh and she's dirty I mean if you're going to uh, Switch cases, might as well blow them out, you know? Blow, blow them out. So that's there. Okay, that's all there. And what? Editing TJ here, Timmy Joe for short. <laughs> Do you see what was wrong? I didn't see it when I was taking it apart. I didn't. And I'm so dumb. I, it's so obvious what's wrong. The rat's nest he had of power supply cables just hanging out in the bottom of the case. He had, here, good acting, eh? Uh, this is the crappy power supply that blew up. He had this end connected to a fan header on the motherboard. He had the little piece that used to connect to floppy drives that's used for nothing, that's still included on budget power supplies for some reason. He had that connected to a fan header on his motherboard. No wonder it was triggering overcurrent protection. Ah, uh, well, that's gonna make the rest of this video short. Anyways, uh, I just wanted to chime in and say, I'm an idiot and check your connections. All of them coming from the power supply. Wow, that was a uh, surprise you didn't fry anything. Hmm. There's no onboard graphics, eh? Grab my trusty GT 1030 that I use for testing. Put her in there. 
and back on again and then watch the fan right there another little jiggle so it wasn't the video card you just got to kind of go through process of elimination but what i kind of want to do is just take the motherboard out because i don't i feel i have a feeling if i'm going to do it and get this working i'm going to need to take the motherboard out go so now we've got it hooked up and we'll use our trusty be quiet ya boom to lose another screw and uh, I'll short circuit the power switch here oh this might not be on there we go three two one contact nothing not necessary <laughs> we have a computer that turned on for longer and it's turning back on interesting check it out Woo! look at this main bios checksum error so i was out of focus there but it said main bios checksum error then it ran some thing maybe it was uh it's a gigabyte so there should be a dual bios on this thing yep two biases so maybe it was, uh, maybe he did something real bad. There we go. Boom. So all it took, see, a little bit of troubleshooting. You got to go the steps. I know you just see loading. Yeah, okay. So we don't have the hard drives hooked up, so that's fine. But sometimes, sometimes you go and uh, build a computer and then it doesn't work. And I know it sucks to take all the parts back out, but maybe something, something's up. He must have, let's see. Sorry about the beeping. Let's see here. I don't, I don't know. Looks normal to me. He was shorting something out. So we'll put her back together and we'll try and figure this out. Super weird. All right, so since there was some weird BIOS checksum error there, and I wanna make sure I don't blow the thing up since it actually is working, uh, I'm gonna test the power supply, which was the only component that wasn't in that loop once we got you know like the like well, the video card i'm sure is fine we, we'll, we'll, we'll test her as we go here but i'm more concerned with this right now all right contact Boop. here we go and we press the on button and it should be good here but i think if we hold it it does a power cycle thing oh well, there we go you just press the button through the things there we go. Okay, well, I'm not worried about that then. So it's, he had a, something in there. Maybe he had a screw behind the motherboard or something like that. All right, so like a good little boy, this guy uh, kept hardware monitor on the computer. I always put hardware monitor on the computer. I don't put hardware info 64 because it's a complicated program. This one's super easy. You open it up. It's pretty easy to tell what's what. And uh, we do see we have a 2600K as I thought. A -ba -ba boom and a graphics card 980 Ti. There we go. And we're getting some nice uh, 1080p 170 frames a second running in Unigen uh, heaven and uh, there's no issues with these temperatures whatsoever. So blowing out the graphics card probably might help out a little bit there. But I definitely fixed this case up real nice for him. So uh, yeah, it's running again. And uh, I guess what the whole point of the video is, is you can build a whole computer and then go to turn it on and it don't turn on. And uh, it's best to maybe start with a few components take them out. If uh, you take the graphics card out, maybe have a secondary graphics card if you don't have onboard graphics. I, I, think, I thought 2600K would, but anyways. Uh, and uh, then, you know, just make sure it's not the graphics card. Unplug any unnecessary, even the hard drives, because you don't need hard drives connected. You don't need fans connected. Unplug everything. And like I did, I just took the motherboard right back out and you know it might suck you get to that point maybe your build's a lot more complicated than this but i've definitely myself been there 
and I am an, ex an expert. Uh, where I build a whole PC and that exact same thing happens. You go to turn it on, it triggers over current protection and the motherboard shuts off like that. And uh, actually my current uh, test bench, the 10700K build, when I built that, after all the trouble I had with the 10900K dying right away, um, I built that and it did the exact same thing as this. And it took me taking the motherboard out and putting it back in before it worked. And I still don't know what it was. There's the beeping again. Maybe he had the, uh, God damn it. I got to end the video with the beeping anyways. So what I could have done before taking the motherboard out is I could have unhooked all the accessories, the audio connector, the USB connector, USB-C connector, any of the fans. Maybe it would have turned on then. But uh, it was an easy take it out, rebuild it, do some cable management for the guy since he's paying me to do this, and I'm a nice guy. So now he's got a real nice setup PC here, got some extra fans installed, and uh, it's, it's ready to go. So if you're having trouble getting your computer started, don't be afraid to start just, you take everything out one by one and add things in as you go. And if you're building a computer, if you're new to it, it's often a good idea to build it on the box first build it outside of the computer before you uh you know throw it all in the computer and find out that it's not working and then maybe it wasn't working in the first place so it's a good idea to build a little test bench on your motherboard box make sure all your components are working that way if you do plug them all in here you at least know that they were working before and you can work your way backwards by taking out uh you know just taking out components one by one uh and definitely unhook all the accessories and uh you know maybe except for the power switch and see if it'll turn on then but this thing's running just fine cpu temperatures in the 50s and i can tell that graphics card's getting warm 67 degrees yeah, these 980 Ti's with these crappy coolers are crappy. But anyways, I'm at Watch Timmy Joe Instagram and Twitter. Thanks for coming along on this little ride of fixing some noob's PC because he was doing silly things, but at least he knew who to call, right? <laughs> don't be afraid to get, you know, don't be afraid to reach out for help. Probably, you, you're doing it in the comments. No, uh, there's too many. Ah! Uh, anyways, have a good day. Thanks to Be Quiet for sponsoring this video.